you ready? Are you ready? Oh, are you ready to go? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to go? Hello, it's Mr. T, and I have a tutorial today on polynomial factoring. This is a part two of our tutorials on factoring. In the earlier tutorial, we covered primarily factoring of quadratics. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about factoring polynomials of higher degree. There's two methods in this tutorial. The first one's called factoring by grouping. And then the second one is factoring the sum or difference of two cubes. So let's start with uh, factoring by grouping. Uh, if you see a polynomial of degree 3 that has four terms, then this is a uh, type of factoring that you should consider. And the steps, and we'll go through this in a couple examples after this first slide, but the first step will be to group the polynomial in pairs of terms. So the first two terms will become one grouping and the second two will become another group. And we're going to do GCF factoring out of each a group looking for the common mon monomial that we can factor out. Once we've done that factoring, we'll look at the binomial that's left over uh, from that GCF factoring, and that will tell us whether or not this method can succeed. If both binomials are the same, then we can go to the next step, and this method is going to be effective. If not, then polynomial f uh, factoring by grouping won't work. After we have completed our polynomial factoring by grouping, we need to check each of the uh, binomials that resulted to make sure that they can't be factored further by some other method. So let's look at the examples. So here's our example one. We have a polynomial of degree three. So remember, polynomial degrees are the largest exponent, and we have one, two, three and four terms. So this fit the pattern that I talked about. So our first step was to group the first two terms and the last two terms. And notice I'm putting the grouping around this symbol leading to this term. And since there's no symbol here, this isn't multiplying, so we have to put a plus symbol here. If we drew the grouping here, that would mathematically not be correct because this negative sign would have to be distributed through the parentheses and would change the expression. So now our next step is to group, I mean to factor each of these groupings using GCF factoring. So if we look at this first grouping, if we look at the coefficients, we have a 1 and a 3. So the biggest number we can factor out is just 1 but we have an x cubed and an x squared, so we can factor out x squared. So our GCF for this first group is x squared. And remember to find what's left over, we divide both of these terms by x squared. So x cubed divided by x squared, or we're removing two of the x's, we just have x left. And here we're removing the x squared, so we have x squared plus three. Now we look at this group, so negative 4 and negative 2, we can factor out a negative 4. If this leading term is a negative, we'll always factor out a negative number. So we're going to factor out, let me just go ahead and put the plus here for now, so we're going to factor out a negative 4. This term has an x, no x here, so we can't factor out an x. So our leftovers after removing the negative 4, if we divided this by negative 4, we're left with x. And here if we divide this by negative 4, we have negative 12 divided by the negative 4, we have x plus 3. Now in the procedure we said at this point we want to check our two leftover binomials to see if they're the same, and in this case they are the same. So we are going to now, since those are two common factors, we're going to GCF factor out that common binomial. So we're not factoring out a monomial like we did here, but we're factoring out the x plus 3. Now this is one whole term, so if we factor out the uh, x plus 3, we're left with x squared. And here, if we factor out the x plus 3, we're left with the negative 4. And now I'm going to convert plus a minus is just minus 4. 
So at this point, we have completed the factoring uh, using grouping, and we're done with that step. But now we check each factor. This is a linear factor, so there's nothing to factor out. But this is a quadratic factor, and you might notice from earlier factoring, this is a difference of two squares. So this can be factored into x plus 2 and x minus 2. And we still have this factor, so let me put that here. And now we have the complete factoring for this problem. So what led that to allow us to factor that is the uh, factoring by grouping. So let's look at another example. So again, our first step is to group. And here we're going to group. And remember, we include the negative sign inside the group, and we put a plus here. Now between these two, the 8 and the 4, we can factor out a 4. And x cubed and x squared, we can factor out x squared. Divide this by this, we're left with 2x. And here we're left with just 1. Now here there's nothing we can factor out. There's no common number or here. But we have this negative sign, so we have to factor out a negative 1. So that turns this into 2x plus 1. And this time it worked out because we have two common binomial terms, which we will uh, factor out. And our second binomial, again, turns out to be a difference of two squares. So we can factor that further. And we have here now 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1 for the difference of two squares. And we can do one more step here, further grouping, because we have these two binomials are the same, so if you have a factor times itself, it becomes 2x plus 1 squared times 2x minus 1. So that's not really a factoring step, but just a simplification step. Again, what enabled this to happen was to uh, attempt to do the factor by grouping. Okay, let's look at our second type of factoring. This is called the sum or difference of two cubes. We just, in the last two problems, used a difference of two squares. So here we have two terms that are perfect cubes. And for cubes, we can not only do a difference of two cubes, but we can also factor the uh, sum of two cubes. And these are the two rules. You're just going to need to uh, memorize those. Uh, if you memorize one of them, you might be able to notice some patterns in this first linear factor, if this is plus, this is plus, when this is minus, this is minus. Over here, we have the same three terms in this quadratic, an a squared, an ab, and a b squared. These are both plus, and these signs here are opposite. So you can just memorize these, or you can try to use the uh, pattern that I just pointed out to you. Now, a and b will be made up of terms that may include a coefficient and a variable. The coefficients to be cubes have to be numbers such as these. So 1 cubed, 2 cubed, 3 cubed, 4 cubed, 5 cubed, 6 cubed, 10 cubed. There are other cubes that you would need to be able to recognize, but these are most common that we'll see in our problems. And the exponent, I mean the variable must have a exponent of 3 or a multiple of 3. So we could rewrite x to the 6th power as x squared cubed. So this is a cube of x squared, a cube of x cubed, etc. So let's look at a couple examples. So our first example here, our coefficients are both uh, perfect cubes. So this is 2 cubed and this is 5 cubed. And we have x cubed. So let me uh, write this here as two x cubed. So again, in our pattern, this is our a, so it's a cubed, and this is our b. So 
we will just use our pattern that we had here. So this was a uh, difference of two cubes, so we're going to be using this pattern here. So in our first binomial, we have a, which is 2x, minus b, which is 5. And in our second uh, bracket, let me put a square bracket here, we have a squared, so that we're going to have 2x squared. Now we have plus a times b, so 2x times 5, and plus b squared, so we have 5 squared. So let's simplify in that, um, in here. So 2x squared is 4x squared, because remember we have to square, we have to take 2x times 2x. Here 5 times 2x is 10x and 5 squared is 25. And we're done. This quadratic we could check to factor, but in, uh, when we're factoring a difference or sum of two cubes, this trinomial will not be factorable. So that's our final answer here, and let's work one last uh, example. So we have a sum here. Right now it doesn't look like a uh, sum of two cubes, but if you remember back from our first factoring uh, uh, tutorial, we always wanted to try to factor out any GCF first. So here we have 2 and 54, so we can factor out a 2, and we can factor out an x to the fourth. So now I'm left here with, if I divide x, if I take four x's out of here, I'm left with x cubed. 54 divided by 2 is 27, and we removed all the x's. So now this is a sum of two cubes, and our a is just x, and our b is the cube root of 27. Our b will be 3. So now we can just, we want to keep our GCF factor at the front. Now our linear term is a plus b, so x plus 3. And now we have a trinomial, so we have a squared, so that's x squared, minus a times b, which is 3x, and then plus b squared, which is 9. And this whole thing is our factoring of this uh, polynomial. So good luck with this. Uh, I hope you have uh, success in doing these, and we'll see you in class. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, are you ready to go? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you